everybody, welcome back. It's Joey again. I'm with Maria. You're watching Vegas D Tech. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, when I was in the Philippines, I've been reading all your comments and, and words of sympathy, and I'm so touched and so thankful for all of those uh, um, comments. kind words nice and the words. kind words. Thank you so much, guys. Really, I appreciate it. I mean, like I said, I just got her back from flying halfway around the world and back, and. Uh, you know, we're out here right now at Lake Mead today, and I want to say good morning to you, first of all. I'm never really out here this early, but we don't really have any choice in the matter right now because, guys, it has been 115, 116 degrees out here. So right now we're out here at, a, at 7 o'clock in the morning, and it's like 96. So I'd rather come out here and get this water report done because uh, I just simply can't take the heat when it's that high. And uh, so anyways, guys, let's just get out here. Uh, I brought a new camera out today. I hope you guys like it. It's the, the Insta360 camera, and it's going to be able to give you a good, you know, uh, 360 view of what we're seeing out here, and uh, we're going to get into the water report. Got a couple of boats out here right now getting launched, and the water's looking really nice out here, guys. You can see about where the boat, where you can see about where the trucks have to go in order to launch the boat right now. The back tire, you can see how deep you have to get in. Yeah, man, but have a look. The water is nice and clear. Man, and when you're out here this early in the morning, you've got your free dibs. You should be able to just launch your boat real quick. No lines at all. And so we're out here at the end of the uh, launch pier right now. I'm looking in the water. It's about six feet. Looking about six, six and a half feet. And we still have so much of this uh, concrete water, uh, the concrete foundation. And it extends at least 25, 30 feet out before we actually hit dirt. So the water level is looking really good. All right, Lake Mead Water Report coming up next. Yeah, guys, so check this out. This is the cove that I used to do a lot of my water reports on last year. And right where these ducks are right here, this is one of the uh, big block uh, anchor mounts for the moorings for the uh, marina. And I used to stand on that, and it was way up on a hill. And there was like a barrel a little bit ways down. And you can see right here, the water's coming and taking away that block. Hey, babe, do you remember that block? I used to stand on it. Huh. Yeah, and, and then like there was a barrel right next to it. That's underwater now too. Completely changed. The caterpillar tires that were up over here on the right, they're completely gone and underwater. This is all new fresh water right here. All right, guys, so let's get into the Lake Mead water report. Today, guys, Lake Mead is 1,059.24 feet. And we're up a total of 19.24 feet from the water year. Uh, and guys, uh, the images that I'm giving you are probably going to be a little bit different uh, as far as the graphs and so forth. Because I actually forgot the paperwork that I made last night because I was in such a rush to get out here this morning that I forgot it. And I just had to go ahead and write all this stuff down 
uh, using the internet out here in the back of the car. But anyways, the data should be about right, even though the graphics may be a little bit different. But anyways, the inflow for today, guys, is 20,156 cubic feet per second of water coming in. And the outflow, guys, is 13,028. Uh, 14 day averages we've been averaging 20,206 cubic feet of water coming in and for the past 14 days we've been averaging 11,635 so that's clearly saying that uh, Lake Mead right now is on a build cycle we're building up the water so if we take a look at the differential change for the day the differential shows that we're up 0.12 feet for the day and on the average we're up 0.17 feet but we're up a total of 2.24 feet over the past 14 measures. Okay, so for the past 14 days, what's going to be interesting is what we see at Lake Powell. At Lake Powell, the water level is 3,584.02 feet. Their inflows, interestingly enough, guys, their inflows are only 10,482 cubic feet per second coming in. And that's down huge from what it was just a month ago. Their outflows are 18,711. So basically the water's just passing right through. Their average is 17,133 cubic feet per second coming in from the Colorado, and they're releasing 18,670. So like I say, the dam is just basically a pass-through dam right now. Whatever they're getting in from the Colorado, they're just passing it right downstream coming into me. All right, so for the past 14 days, guys, Powell has actually been down. 0.20 feet and on the past 14 days they've been averaging another down of 0.06 feet and over the last 14 measures they're down 1.02 feet over the past 14 measures guys so this is really interesting because just one month ago and guys we've only started we've only started the summer what is it here June 21 so we've only been in summer maybe one month and already it looks like the average snowpack is already done given what it's going to give. And considering that we're up, they're saying, 150 to 200 uh, additional feet this year. And to think that all of that water is already, the best of the best has already been given. Because like I said, one month ago today, we had 50 to 60,000 cubic feet per second flowing into the Colorado. And all of a sudden down, we're down to only 20% of that. To think that one month ago, 50 to 60 now 10,000 10,000 cubic feet that is low guys very low um, I don't know uh, it sounds weird to me but maybe it's a situation of the water I don't know of any other dams above Powell that can actually block the water coming in but I've always been under the notation or the assumption that all the water flowing off the Rockies flows right into the Colorado and it goes right into Powell but that's not true the water is actually captured by a couple of reservoirs up in the base of the Rocky Mountains and the water is diverted back around the mountain if they want to. So maybe, you know, the Water Authority, you know, the Bureau of Reclamation is diverting some of that water back around. But like I said, it's quite strange that uh, going from 60,000 cubic feet per second just a month ago down to 10, that's like 20% uh, of what we were averaging. And the summer months has just started, guys. So who knows what this is going to look like, you know, only one month into the summer year. Alrighty guys, so Maria came up with a bright idea as we're driving through Lake Mead. She thought we would just uh, throw up the 360 camera and give you guys a little bird's eye view of what it is out here at the lake as we drive through it. Hope you guys enjoy the view. Now what's crazy right now guys is that um, the, the 360 camera is outside through my sunroof and the, the wind noise would be absolutely unbearable for you with me driving as fast as I'm driving. But I've been able to just utilize the microphone that I have on my lapel in the car and I'm recording the audio separately and then I just uh, combine them in editing to where you don't get all that wind noise. And that's just something that I discovered here just recently.
But this here is one of the overlook spots. I think it's scenic overlook number two or something like that. And as you guys can clearly see here, the uh, you see how far away the lake is down there. And everything over here to the left is going to be where the water, where, where you see all this uh, gray area, tan area, all that stuff out there is where the water used to be and it's receded all the way back towards, uh, yeah, unfortunately, towards Boulder City. And that's, uh, that's the way we're going to head back over there right now because, like I said, with all the water gone, this is basically just a bunch of, a bunch of huts that are out here in the desert. And what you guys see over here on the left is Park Service is actually out here picking up all the trash. Because I know a lot of you guys have asked me, you know, why doesn't Park Service come out here and clean up? And, you know, they actually do along the roadways here. They want this area to look nice. But when you uh, get off the uh, non-populated areas where people normally visit, um, that's where you'll start finding a lot of the trash. And they generally don't go out in those areas because those are like hiked areas that people go to they don't venture that far out but uh as long as you're on like the tourist areas like the campgrounds the picnic areas or the beaches all that stuff there gets picked up routinely by park services and like i said along this roadway you won't see any trash along the sides of the roadway here they keep it very clean Now, coming up, uh, coming up along this hill here, on the left-hand side, what you're looking at over there is where the old marina used to be. At least, it's the marina that used to be here back when I was in right, high school, like 88. Back in the 80s, right? This is where the marina was, and this is where I took you guys on the pump house ride. So as you're coming up here, you're gonna just make a left right in here, and it's gonna take you right down into uh, the area where we were on my last video what well, we noticed the water coming in and taking in the barrels up here on the uh, right hand side here you're gonna see all this green this is actually where a lot of people stay they rent houses or they live out here and a lot of these guys here they work out at the marina and right here on the left hand side this is the entrance to the old uh, boat boat harbor where I took you guys last week. Here's a little panorama 
of uh, the little lake at the park here, Veterans, Veterans Memorial Lake or Pond in Boulder City. It's very nice. I tell you what, man, if I could ever afford to retire, and uh, I've been trying to talk to Maria about it, I was like, I would get out of Las Vegas and just come up here to Boulder City. This is so relaxing. The noise, there is none. Car racing down the street, people blasting their radios and just trash and just tons of people everywhere. None of that. I mean, Las Vegas is just right over that mountain right there. So you just go around the other side and you can have all that insanity if you like it. But I'm getting too old for all that right now, man. I like to have some quiet times. And being that if you need to go into Las Vegas, it's only 30 minutes away. You've got Lake Mead right here. You got Boulder City right here. Yeah, if I could afford it, if I could, you know, I'm, I'm steadily working diligently trying to put away for it. But man, I would love to be able to have sunsets out here uh, in Boulder City, man. That'd be one great way to retire. All righty, guys. So we're up here, like I said, out here at the uh, the visitor center is actually up that way where you would go in and get all of your information, you know, maps and so forth. If you're going to come out here and do some hiking, you can go right up to the visitor center there. And if you have any questions or concerns, you could talk with one of the faculty members out there, uh, any information that you need. It's only eight o'clock in the morning. And as you can see here, here's the current temperature at eight o'clock in the morning. Alrighty guys, so uh, that's all we got for you guys today on this week's Lake Mead Water Report. And uh, just wanted you to have a little bird's eye view. I hope you guys like the 360 camera. I have to close out on my regular Osmo camera because unfortunately I ran out of juice uh, on that camera and I only brought one battery. Uh, so we're just closing it out in the DJI. But anyways guys, this is uh, me and Marie again out here at the uh, Lake Mead uh, recreational area. We just want to say thank you very much for uh, tuning in again to another Lake Mead Water Report. And uh, guys, if you like this information, you found it beneficial, useful, or even if you enjoyed it for its recreational value, uh, please do us a kindness and uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, if you guys like this type of information, hit the uh, notification bell. That way YouTube would know that you like reports like this and they'll notify you every time or alert you when I make a new video. So until I see you guys next week, I just want to say thank you again for tuning in, Maria. Thank you guys for coming with us today. All right, guys. So that's it. We're going to let you guys go. We're going to try to get out of here, man, because you know what? The heat is climbing as we speak, and we're anticipating it getting up to another 118 degrees. And uh, yeah, dude, 830 in the morning. I'm going to edit this and get it out to you. You guys be well. Thank you again for coming out with us here. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye now.